y'all. We're getting ready to make some breakfast sausage here. We just butchered a pig this week, and this is the um, chunks of pork that we cut up to use for it. There's pork and fat in there, and then we have mixed our seasoning, um, which our seasoning we do by the pound for breakfast sausage is um, one tablespoon of raw sugar, one teaspoon of sage, one teaspoon of salt, and we usually use um, pink Himalayan salt. We also use sea salt, which works well too. Um, we do a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and an eighth of a teaspoon of red pepper. It gives it a little bit of heat, but not too much, because we don't like it to be too spicy, but it's just enough to give it that right amount of spice. So um, anyway, we do that. That's how much we do per pound. We usually multiply it and put it in baggies um, per five pound mixture. And we've done that. We have only sent uh, pigs to the butcher to be done one time, and we did that, and they used our mix for our pork sausage. Um, but we've made it like that in bulk, and then we can store it so that when we're ready to make sausage, we have it ready to go. This is about, what, 20 pounds in a, was 30. it? 20 you kept 30. 10 out, right? Yeah, so, so it's this about 20 was, to 30. This one was 20 pounds less, because we're gonna do 10 pounds of Italian sausage. Um, so that is, the meat ready to go and Emma's gonna start here in just a second. So Emma, how long have you been making sausage? I've been helping daddy for about six years mm -hmm. and this time I'm going to make it myself. You requested to be able to make it yourself. Yep. So, all right, you ready? Yeah. Go to it. So you just pick up a big hunk. <laughs> Stuff the sausage into these bags. All right, here we go. All right, let's fill it up. We'll seal it here in a second. Um, yeah, get the little machine. Bring it over. So let me say a couple things real quick. This is the meat grinder we've had for a long time and we got this before we were raising pigs and it worked fine, we bought some pork and ground our own. Um, but ideally for this much, we really like a much bigger, more industrial meat grinder. So at some point we will get one. And then this stuffer is not the one we usually use. This one's much smaller. You can see it's not a very big um, hole there to put the to feed through um, and so it's feeding the bags filling the bags a lot slower um, but we normally have the bigger stuff or we just don't know where it is right now um, but that's how that stuff in that package of sausage let me see it Lydia Lydia's holding it um, is roughly a pound we don't do them exact we know they're all about a pound and we actually marked hot and breakfast sure. is not hot it just we were in a hurry that. and I actually did that she was in a hurry trying to mark a bunch of them before we the last time we made sausage we forgot to date them so there you go it's that simple so we wanted to make sure that we got them dated properly this time right Emma yep because we had some sausage we liked and some sausage we didn't and the sausage we didn't got mixed in with the sausage we did like so whenever we cooked it was a mystery sometimes it was a pleasant surprise and sometimes not <laughs> but um anyway these girls are gonna finish filling up the sausage bags and we'll have a pile of sausage to stick in the freezer yeah. Yeah. 